What's going on everyone? Burbank Aviation here. Welcome back to another video. Today we have the January 2024, 2024 model collection review. We have now over 85 models right around that 90 mark. Uh, 89 here. Uh, three others that I just got in that I need to do an unboxing on. Um, so about 90 models, which is absolutely crazy that's i mean a lot of models to gain over man the past almost six years now it's been since i've started collecting um a lot of really new ones uh we'll go over kind of um while we do this we'll go over when i got it if i remember um why i got it and then a couple other things like first of the fleet and some more um so anyways we're gonna get started we're gonna start over here uh with american airlines tied for our biggest carrier with i'm pretty sure uh united and southwest american has 12 gates or 12 airplanes uh united having 13 so southwest and united are tied american right behind them uh and then delta has climbed the right so we're gonna start here the American Eagle E-145, um, ordered this back in 2022, I want to say around September. Uh, very nice pickup. Uh, I got this from Diecast Airplane Store. Uh, American Eagle CRJ-700. Um, man, I don't remember when I got that from. American CRJ-900. Got two American Eagle E-175s. American A319, the Allegheny uh, Heritage Delivery. This was my first American Airlines model. Outside of the 787-8 I have, but that's been long gone. Um, American 1819 with the Sharklets. Got that around the same time as the E-145. Uh, American 1820. I think I got that in the beginning of last year. American 1821 Medal of Honor. I uh, got that, I think, around midway through last year. I uh, have the American 1821 Neo. Uh, and the stand delivery got this about, I think, September, October of last year. And then two American 77 800s. The one on the left uh, is the one without the logo on the winglets. And then the one here on the right has the logo on the winglets. Two United Express here, the 700s. These are really, uh, these are much older aircraft. Got these back in, I think, March, April, maybe May of 2021. Uh, United Express E170 got this one way back in about 2018. Same with the AC-19, got that one back in, I think, 2019. Uh, United AC-20, uh, got this model, I think, in late 2021, start of 2022. Uh, the United 77-700 right there, uh, that is a replacement to my other 77-700 that I have for United. Uh, same aircraft, same mold. Uh, it was just a replacement as my other one was broken, uh, but that was my first model for United. Um, the United 77-700 in the, uh, Evo Blue Split Scimitars, United 77-800 Evo Blue Split Scimitars, United 77-800 Star Wars, um, got this in about July of 2022, United 77 Max 8, pretty sure I got this, uh, this is Evo Blue, pretty sure I got this in about, um, I want to say May, June of 2022, United 77 probably got that around the same time as the Max 8. Uh, United 77 Max 9, uh, got this one around, I think, I want to say February, March of last year. United 757 200, uh, pretty sure I got that sometime around the summer of this year. And then to finish it off here for United, the 757 200 Evo Blue. Uh, moving to our Delta Connection Fleet, Delta CRJ 700, pretty sure I got this late 2022. Delta E175, my newest model added to the collection, got this about two, three weeks ago. Delta 717, replacement to my second oldest model. Um, I had a Delta E170, that was my oldest, that one broke. Same with my other Delta 717, got a replacement, uh, so nice to have that. Two Delta 8220-100s, Delta 8021, a Delta 77 Niger, that is Gemini Jets old mode. Um, we have the new mode, Delta 77 Niger here for Gemini Jets, and then the Delta 757-200. Uh, Southwest 77-700, Canyon Blue with the winglets. Southwest 77-700, 
uh, in the Illinois One livery. This was my first Southwest model. Southwest 7700 in the Lone Star One livery. Southwest 7700 in the Colorado One livery. Southwest 7700 Kenyan Blue Split Scimitars. The Southwest 77-800 uh, with the gray winglets. Two Southwest 77-800s in the Split Scimitars Blended. Southwest 77-800 Freedom One livery. Southwest 77-800 Tennessee One. Two Southwest 77 Max 8s in the hard one. Southwest 77 Max 8 Canyon Blue Retro livery. And Southwest 77 Max 8 uh, Mule One livery. Got the Alaska even 10 5 here, uh, operated by SkyWest. My first Alaska model, the Alaska 8020 in the Fly with Pride livery. Alaska 77 800 in the Honoring Those Who Serve livery. This is my newest addition to Alaska. Alaska 77 9 GR standard livery. Alaska 77 9 GR UNCF. Alaska 77 Max 9 uh, West Coast Wonders with Orca livery. Uh, we got one Jet Blue 8200 right there. Uh, another one right here. The JetBlue 8021 in the Prison Tail, JetBlue 8021 in the First Mint Tail, JetBlue 8021 Neo, my first JetBlue aircraft. Uh, this is in the Balloons Tail. Uh, Frontier 8020 Neo in the Baja the Whale Shark Tail, Frontier 8020 Neo in the, the Poppy the Prairie Dog livery, Spirit 8019, Spirit 8020 Neo. Both those are fairly recent. Got those I think back in like October. Um, Breezy-195. Breeze 82300, Allegiant 1819, Sun Country 77 800, 40 years of flight sticker, Avilo 77 800, Avianca 8020 Taka Heritage Livery, WestJet 77 700, Republic Airways E 170 in the house livery. Moving on to our wide bodies, uh, we have our Emirates 7700 GR, this is the flaps down by Gemini, uh, Fiji 850 900 by NG. KLM 787-10 by NG Models. Air Tahiti Nui 787-9 by NG Models. USA, uh, this is the, I think, Ona Air DCA in the USA colors um, by Gemini Jets. Corsair 747-300 uh, by Gemini Jets, one of my older aircraft. Uh, first Interactive Series, UPS 747-400F by Gemini Jets. UPS... UPS 767-300F by Gemini Jets. UPS 757-200F by Gemini Jets. Uh, this is the, uh, the American West 25, uh, 25th anniversary livery. 757-200 without the winglets. Delta 767-300ER um, with winglets. Hawaiian A330-200 um, in the new livery. FedEx... 767-300F, FedEx 777F, Interactive Series by Gemini, uh, our two JSX E-145s there by Gemini, and then a shout out to the Delta CRJ-700, the first one I got, uh, the horizontal stabilizer is broken. Uh, we got two Bombardier Challenger 300s right there, um, the back one by NetChest and the front one a private owner. And then an honorable mention to the SR-71 uh, Blackbird model that I got as a gift um back in about march of this year or last year sorry um so that's about it i know it's pretty quick i've only done one of the one other one of these on this channel so as i do more i'll do another one in july um so as i do more of these i will be able to no more to talk about i think going into the next video I'll do um i'll start doing what company they're by i was doing at the end of the video gemini jets and g models my primary ones um, I think really the only company I've ordered from are Gemini Jets and NG models. Um, and then Shapeways, uh, for the 3D, 3D printed smaller models like the, uh, Bombardier Challenger 300s over there. So I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please make sure to like and subscribe as it really helped me out. And I'll see you all in the next one.